Welcome to the Bloom Trail High School Class of 2020 Commencement Ceremony. Please welcome Bella Mensing of the Bloom Trail NJROTC for the reciting of the Pledge of Allegiance. Hello, my name is Bella Mensing and I'm the Administrative Officer of NJROTC. Please join me in reciting the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please welcome Evelyn Munoz, Class of 2020, Valedictorian. Hello and welcome to the 2020 graduation. I'm Evelyn Munoz and I'm proud to be your very last Valedictorian. This isn't how I imagined I'd be celebrating this moment four years ago, but nonetheless, I'd like to thank all of those who helped us get here. I'd like to thank the Bloom Township District 206 Administration who fought to make the celebration possible. I'd like to thank Mr. Slavinsky and Ms. Shank and all of the teachers at Bloom Trail who took the time to care for each and every single one of us and push us through those moments we just wanted to give up. I'd like to thank my friends who knew how to make even the most stressful of times some of the most fun. And I'd like to thank my family and all of the families of the class of 2020 for always believing in us and always supporting us, especially through these tough times. These past few weeks have brought about experiences that none of us could have expected or could have been prepared for. When we were little kids, there was always a sense of calm about being around our parents when something scary happened because we always knew that they would know what to do. They always have an answer or a solution. But if I look into my parents' eyes right now, I can see that they're just as afraid as I am. This is a time when everyone is afraid and everyone has had a new set of challenges handed to them. It has been every single one of our responsibilities to keep our neighbors safe by staying at home. And to my fellow graduates, I'd like to applaud you for sacrificing your graduation for the well-being of the Commonwealth. But our class is special because we have a resilience in us that the world has never seen before. We were the children who were raised in the midst of 9-11 and the fear and anxiety that followed it. But through that period of uncertainty, we learned how to persevere. When this all began, when we were all told we could never return to the school that we learned how to love so dearly, I was angry and sad. I felt how we all felt, like I was mourning the loss of my senior year. I thought, why me? And of all times, why now? But of all those emotions, all I felt was guilt. I thought that as a person with a healthy family and a safe place to go home to, what right do I have to be angry or sad? I knew that with everything else going on, a ceremony should have been the least of my worries. I realized, however, that it was okay to be upset about these changes. After all, graduation is supposed to be a moment to commemorate our achievements, and believe me, we've had plenty. We have countless of students moving across the country to study at exceptional universities, and we have countless more who are joining the military. Our commitment to our education and our country is what sets our class apart. In the end, I learned that feeling guilty because someone has it worse than you is unhealthy and counterproductive. So my message to the class of 2020 is this. From this moment on, allow yourself to wallow and cry if you need to. Let your problem exist, and that's your turning point. You can choose to feel sad forever, or you can choose to focus on the more important things in life, the brighter things in life. You can choose to think that your senior year was ruined, or you can choose to think about all the beautiful memories you've created over the past four years. You focused on how high school led you to the most unlikely of friends or that one moment in class when you thought, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Now as a class, it is our turning point. We can sit here and complain, or we can step up to life's new challenges. It is our responsibility now not to throw ourselves a pity party, but to realize how unique our position is. For a generation always shouting at the top of their lungs demanding change, we were given the unique opportunity to change and to rebuild. We're uniquely situated to use our voices to vote, to protest, to go big like running for Congress, like we know our fellow classmate Fernanda Carmona will do in the future. Because after all of this, what we need is a new beginning. When we're older and we recount our most cherished memories, we'll always refer to things as before and after life before COVID-19 and after when everything changed. But I know that the class of 2020 will be the driving force of that change. In fact, I want to challenge you to be the change that you want to see because I know that the class of 2020 has never backed down from a challenge. So here's to us and all the challenges we'll overcome in the future. Thank you. Let's welcome Fernanda Carmona, class of 2020 salutatorian. 
Hello everyone and welcome. I am Fernanda Carmona and I am proud to be the class of 2020 salutatorian. I would like to start off by thanking District 206 Administration, Board of Education, counselors, and our amazing teachers who work hard every day to prepare us for our future endeavors. I want to also thank those who we often overlook. Our lunch staff, custodians, and security. Without them, our school would not be safe. A mis padres y a mi familia, gracias por su apoyo incondicional durante todos mis años escolares. Sin ustedes no sería la persona que soy hoy en día. I want to also thank all of the friends and families who are watching today. The class of 2020 thanks you. Class of 2020, good afternoon. Before I formally begin, I would like to let you all know that usually when I give speeches, to make myself less nervous, I pretend that I am only speaking to one other person in the audience. However, in this case, I don't have to pretend. And it breaks my heart that none of you are in front of me, but I know you are watching in spirit. Fellow classmates, I know our time was cut short. We walked out early on March 16th, unsure if we would come back. We left without knowing that we might never meet face to face with our peers again or hear their voices once more. I'd like to think that, although we did not spend our last few moments in the traditional classrooms, our high school experiences were fun while they lasted, and we created memories and friendships we will cherish for a lifetime. Graduates, we all made it through 13 years of school, and I want to congratulate you all on a job well done. We truly did it all. It started with the uncertainty our parents had for the future as we entered this world around the time of the 9-11 terrorist attacks. Around the time we were 10 and 11, we heard about the attack on Sandy Hook. As young children, we asked those around us why someone would do this. But just a few months later, a bomb exploded at the Boston Marathon. As we grew, we witnessed nightclubs, concerts, schools, and homes ravaged by gun violence. Again, we asked ourselves why. We stepped into high school in the fall of 2016 together, terrified but ecstatic about our next chapter. Since then, we have overcome so much as a class. In este momento, I would like to interrupt my speech for the endorsement of myself because I know my future will bring great change for this country. My campaign will be held for several more years, but it's still important you know. Welcome for Fernanda Carmona for the United States Congress of 2028. With all of you watching today, I hope you can count on me to make a difference in the future. I will be our voice of change. As a class, we have done so much and persevered even in the toughest of times. So what now? It's only a three-word question that weighs heavy in the minds of many of us right now. As you continue this walk of life, some of you might be certain of what your dreams are and will go directly into pursuing them. For others, the future is hazy and you might not be exactly sure of what it is you want to do. I want you all to remember, there is time and we are in no race because we are all in our own unique marathons. Fellow classmates, I haven't seen most of you in over two months, but I want to once again congratulate you. To those continuing your education at a college, university, or trade school, or going straight into the workforce, I wish you the absolute best. For those of you who have enlisted in the military to serve our country, thank you, and I wish you the best as well. This is the most number of students we've had joining the military from Bloom Trail in a long time. To those of us who will continue our education and serve our country simultaneously, good luck to you. Wherever life may take you, remember where you started. You did it all. We did it all. From wherever you may be watching, thank you for joining us. A los que más quiero, gracias por venir a apoyarme, even if you had to watch me from the car. Graduates, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you all for making these past four years some of the best years. Don't be afraid to fail. Choose to be happy. Choose to be the difference in the world. The future starts today. Thank you. And now for the presentation of the Bloom Trail High School class of 2020, please welcome Mrs. Glynis Keene, principal of Bloom Trail High School. Good morning, graduates, families, Board of Education, district administrators, and staff. I'd like to begin by thanking our superintendent, Dr. Linnell Navarre, our Board of Education, and our district administrators for their vision and support for making this moment possible. To the incredibly talented staff of Bloom Trail, thank you for everything you have done the last four years to get our children to this point today. Class of 2020, I know it is easy for all of us to dwell on all that you have lost this spring. This is not the ending to your high school career that any of us wanted for you. 
but today I want you to focus on all that you have gained over the last four years. My graduation ceremony was nice, but it is not my strongest memory of high school. I remember the classes and teachers who influenced the adult I've become today. I remember my best friends and my first love. You may not have the celebration that you always envisioned, but you have your experiences, your triumphs, your lessons learned, and your memories. You are still moving forward and moving ahead, ready to make your goals and dreams come true. Whether the next part of your journey takes you to pursue your studies, to start your career, or to join the military, know that you continue to have the love and support of all of us. You are ready now to face what comes next with confidence and with pride. Congratulations and good luck. And so, without further ado, Dr. Navarre and Mr. Drake, by the power vested in me by you and the Board of Education, I present to you 272 trailblazers, the class of 2020, who have fulfilled the requirements of District 206 and the Illinois Board of Education and are now ready to graduate. Please welcome Dr. Linnell Navary, Superintendent of Bloom Township High School District 206, for the acceptance of the Bloom Trail Class of 2020. Welcome parents, family, and friends. On behalf of our board president, Mr. Henry Drake, and distinguished members of the Board of Education, we're here to celebrate the accomplishments of Class of 2020. Congratulations to these graduates and also to their parents and guardians. I think it is true to say that we all have expectations. It is true to say as well that most days we exceed our expectations. Today is certainly one of those days because our expectations must never be greater than our hope. The days we expect the worst, we find that things are often not quite as bad as we had feared. We find that the expectations we had for ourselves were perhaps a little too low. Perhaps we coped better than we had thought and found to our pleasant surprise that our worries were not warranted. I wonder what you expected to feel today. Although we're not able to have a traditional graduation ceremony, hopefully in the days to come, you're surprised to find that a virtual graduation ceremony means much more to you than you could have ever imagine. I would be remiss if I did not offer these words of advice. Desmond Tutu stated, hope is being able to see that there is light despite all of the darkness. There is a beautiful light and brightness in the future for each one of today's graduates. Beyond our hope, great things don't happen by chance. It was not by chance that your class scholarship total is $13 million. This was due to a well-executed plan. This year alone, Bloom Trail had 44 students taking college and career classes at Prairie State College while earning both credits towards their high school diploma and their college degree. Again, this was due to a well-executed plan. And today, for the eight year in a row, we are graduating many of our seniors as college sophomores. Congratulations to the 14 students who completed the Certified Nursing Assistant Program. One student completed the Barber Program and five students completed the Industry Recognized Certification. My challenge for the class of 2020 is that your vision for your life is perfect. Your pathways to success is guided by the best laid plans and that your expectations are exceeded by hope. Now, if you can do that, then I can finally provide you with the moment you have been waiting for. Mr. Drake, Mr. Angel, and Ms. Palumbi, in your respective roles as President, Vice President, and Secretary of District 206 Board of Education, I certainly recommend that you and the other members of the Board of Education award diplomas to these fine individuals that make up the class of 2020. Congratulations, Trailblazers. Congratulations, the class of 2020.
Andrew Adams. Funmilola Adesida. Cassandra Aguirre. Lincoln Aylman Jr. Josiah Alexander. Briasia Allen. Kayshawn Allen. Manija Alston. Edward Alvarado. Cameron Anderson. Courtney Anderson. Alan Arcos. Ian Armstrong. Jacqueline Arroyo. Emily Baker. Cardero Banks. Brandon Barnes. Joshua Bowman. Noah Bazil. Layana Benford. Altuan Burden. Maria Bernal. Salvador Bernal. Tehran Berry. Angel Lee Bianconi. Mary Biles. Kenneth Blackman. Kiera Blackman. Deja Blakeney. Daniel Blocker. Deontay Brock. Jada Brona. Ariana Broughton. Dejan Brown. Kenyana Brown. Tiffany Brown. Jasper Bruford. Trent Buckmeyer. Elizabeth Bowie. DeAndre Burnett. Quinton Burrell Williams. Joshua Byers. Charles Burns. Jada Calvin. Paige Kamenker. Corian Campbell. Julio Campos. Fernanda Carmona. Dylan Carr. Tanji Carroll. Rico Castillo. Destiny Sachowski. Ramon Chavez. Leah Chen. 
Madison Crush. Megan Crush. Jaychelle Coleman. Lester Coney. Malik Cook Bay. Jared Coronel. Gabrielle Crummy. Erica Curry. Jevin Dampier. Amani Darden. Joshua Davis. Autumn Dean. Lanasia Dearborn. Noemi Del Rio. Marcus Demetrulis. Savannah Demro. Mariah Donald. Christopher Dorsey. Janiah Doyle. Ariana Dunbar. Justice Dunning. Aaron Edwards. Josh Erickson. Nina S.Q. King. David Estes. Shyla Eubanks. Kiarlos Everett. Carla Ferreira. Taquana Ford. Antoine Freeman. Alyssa Fryer. Tyrone Funches. Lily Futrell. Aaliyah Gant. Michael Gartley Stampley. Tasia Gilbert. Keon Glasgow. Lawrence Glover. Joseph Gonzalez. Caitlin Gourley. Jada Gregory. Jeremy Gregory. Arabella Greffy. Jenna Gradzinski. Amarion Hargrove. Juanita Hatton. Tegan Haynes. Tyasia Henderson. Robert Hensley. Tia High. Aaliyah Houston. Marquise Houston. Brandon Howard. Michael Huckabee. 
Alicia Jackson. Deja Jackson. Kimora Jackson. Mariah Jackson. Star Jackson. Winston Jacobs. Precious Favor Jagoon. Tiara James. Amaya Jenkins. Jameer Jenkins. Rajaya Jett. Brandy Johnson. Brianna Johnson. Dariana Johnson. LaVey Johnson. Markel Johnson. Melvin Johnson. Nestle Johnson. Samuel Johnson. Antron Jones. Debion Jones. Tiandria Jones. Madeline Joyce. Daniel Casper. Catherine Kemp. Kamari King. Christina King. Vincent Knuth. Gonzalo Larios. Morocco Lee. Austin Lewis. Imani Lewis. Jack Locasio. Treasure Lumpkin. Joshua McCauley. Tyron Macklin. Ramon Magana. Montana Magsby. Mariana Manny. Maria Martinez. Mary Massey. Diego Masso. Mary Maddox. Davion McDaniel. Zion McFerguson. Cameron McGinnis. Angelia McGlown. Darius McMillan. Catherine Medina. Julaveth Membreno. Nayeli Mendoza. Alexis Miller. Charisma Miller. Kelly Miller. 
Kristen Milton. Martise Mitchell. Anaya Moore. Estefani Morales. Daisy Mosso. Abdul Aziz Muhammad. Ashley Mulder. Evelyn Munoz. Steven Navarro. Spencer Neal. Josiah Newson. Austin Wynn. Christopher Nieves O'Brien. Erica Nunez. Rosalind O'Brien. Esther Ochabuter. Nora Okiri. Vrushab Patel. Allison Perez. Leonardo Perez. Toby Perez. Ariana Perry. Tenard Perry. Trishina Faison. Jonathan Phillips. Rashad Pickett. Dylan Polek. Cameron Paletta. Adam Poole. Angel Pope. Carla Porrata. Lavani Powell. Daniel Prado. Alicia Ramirez. Michaela Randolph. Tony Reed. Anthony Resendez. Emma Rich. Lily Rich. Sherelle Richmond. Alyssa Ricker. Christian Roberson. Tatiana Roberson. Kier Robinson. Tia Robinson. William Rocha. Dominic Rodriguez. Kennedy Rogers. Anthony Rojo. Max Rouser. Joshua Rusky. Marissa Rybicki. Aliyah Sabia. Caitlin Salazar. 
Randy Sassano. Brandon Scott Jr. Claudia Serrato. Ashley Servin. Michael Sharkey. Aliyah Shatat. Alexander Simmons. Marvin Sims III. Michael Slattery. Brianna Smith. Cody Smith. Jeremy Speed. Marcel Steele. Corinthian Stennis. Stephen Strayhorn. Andrew Sweetwood. Tiana Talley. Jamarco Taylor. Victoria Taylor. Dorian Teague. Caleb Teslo. Kalia Thomas. Tadeja Thomas. Raquel Trevino. Arturo Trevino Jr. Alexis Turner. Nikidra Turner. Jamari Tyler. Denaya Timms. Lorraine Uceta. Ayana Velasquez. Mario Vera. Cheyenne Vincent. Andrew Walden. Cedric Ware. Deja Washington. Sharmisha Watson. Logan Wetzel. Tavarion Wheat. Alicia Wisenton. Anthony White. Jason White. Kayende White. Dana Williams. Dasani Williams. Jacqueline Williams. Keyshawn Williams. Michael Williams. Rajay Williams. Alnisa Wilson. Jalen Wilson. Ali Winder. Nicholas Wolak. Tatiana Wordlow. 
Kyla Wormsbecker. Ashantis Wright. Ruby Sarate. Class of 2020, it is my honor to ask you to move your tassel from the right to the left. Graduates and alumni present, please join Mrs. Melissa Duncan, Bloom Trail High School teacher and alumna of the class of 1996 in reciting the Bloom Trail High School Alumni Pledge. Good morning. To the recent class of 2020 and all Bloom Trail alumni, please recite the Alumni Pledge with me. Raise your right hand. I am a graduate of Bloom Trail High School. I have worked hard to arrive at this day with the help of family, friends, and faculty. As a graduate, I am now an alumnus of Bloom Trail. Today, I move forward to face new challenges and welcome the opportunities that lie ahead. I also realize that my experience at Bloom Trail will always remain an important part of my life. As such, I will not forget my responsibility as an alumnus of Bloom Trail High School as I continue my journey toward a successful future. And now, graduates and alumni of Bloom Trail High School, please join Ms. Cynthia Jackson, Bloom High School teacher, in the singing of the Bloom Trail alma mater. Hail, hail to the blue and gold as we pledge our loyalty. Our alma mater, proud and true, Bloom Trail, our love to thee. We are not a shadow hiding in the night. Blue and gold is flaming, sending out its light. Hail, hail to the blue and gold as we pledge our loyalty. Our alma mater, proud and true, Bloom Trail, our love to thee. Thank you for joining us, and congratulations to the class of 2020.